everyone, it's Emma and today we are going to be doing a quick update video. Basically, I'm just going to be going through a short list of all the books that I've read over the summer and I say short because for the first month and a half, two months of summer, I read like zero books. It's fine because I did end up reading a lot of books in August. So this is mainly a end of May, very beginning of June, and then August wrap up but mainly August wrap up. So without further ado, let's get started. So these, this first book I read in the very end of May, very beginning of June, and um, like I don't even remember exactly the week or the date, but I know it was end of school time, May, June, so I'm counting it in this wrap up video. And that is The Upside of Unrequited. And I know she wrote the Simon vs. the Homo Sabian Agenda, and I have not read that yet, but I totally would now because I absolutely adored this book and would 10 out of 10 recommend it and read it again. This chair is really squeaky. By the way, this is about a girl who has had like 27 crushes but never has pursued any of those crushes, and this is about her learning to accept who she is, and maybe, you know, finally moving past the crush stage. I think I gave this a 4 out of 5 stars on my Goodreads, and that's pretty good for a contemporary because I'm usually not the biggest contemporary fan, but I very much so enjoyed the book and I felt like I could relate to the characters. I feel like the sun is moving, so I feel like the lighting is changing, but bear with me. The next book that I read, the next book that I read in the May slash June area was Windfall by Jennifer E. Smith. And this is the second book that I have read by Jennifer E. Smith, and I enjoyed it about the same amount that I enjoyed the other book, which was okay. I think I gave us a three out of five stars on Goodreads, mainly because I was not all for the characters. Mainly the male character, Teddy, I was not the biggest fan of him because I thought the concept was so interesting. But yeah, you know, um, all these like little yellow tags are not good things. So if you've liked Jennifer E. Smith's other books, I definitely think this is one of her strongest, so I think you would enjoy them. But if you felt kind of eh about them, you'll probably feel kind of eh about this one too. There's children outside my window. Now we skip to August, mid-August, and I decide, wow, I really want to read books. So that's exactly what I did, is I read a lot of books. And the first book that kind of got me out of my reading slump was Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo. And this is a heist novel about six characters who try to go on this epic heist journey. And I loved this book. It booted my reading up again, and I want to read the next one. I haven't yet. I have it upstairs. It's on my reading list and ugh, I just love this book. Five out of five stars on Goodreads. If you like heist books, if you like thrillers, you know, actions and dystopian even with a little fantasy, you're definitely going to like this and I would recommend to check it out. Just Ugh, I love all the characters, you know, some books I read and I only care about a couple of the characters, but I was thoroughly invested in all of the characters in this book. By the way, if you would like a more in-depth book talk on any of these books, just leave a comment and I will do that. I already have one coming for Six of Crows because I loved it and I need to like rant about it, but yeah. And then because I had never read nor heard of the Grisha trilogy, I decided to go and pick up those books and give them a try. And I started Shadow of Bone and I was instantly hooked and I loved it and it was really captivating. And then I read the second book, I felt there were some flaws with it. Personally, I wanted it to go in a different direction plot-wise. I got the third book and I read it and that's on ebook. And I was okay with how it ended, but I kind of you know, slowly was going down the rabbit hole on that one because I really loved the concept, but I felt like I wanted the plot to go in a different area than it would. I don't know, I think I might do a book talk on these books as well. The next book that I read, I had been waiting for a very long time, and 
I was super excited to finally get a hold of it and that is Flame in the Mist by Renee Adier. And I love Mulan so I was all about this and I think the cover is like beautiful. I'm sorry I'm staring at the viewfinder but I think the cover is beautiful and I just love like the phoenix. Can you see this? I just love the phoenix and the purple flowers. It's just so beautiful. I didn't like this book as much as I liked her other duology, but the character I really loved that. So I really loved the location and the time, and but just like the personalities of the characters just like weren't all there for me. And I would say that the only aspect about this book that is severely like Milan is that the main female character dressed up like a guy. But overall, I think I did give this book 3.5 out of 5 stars. There is more children staring at me outside and I am just, they're like laughing at me. I'm just gonna keep going because I got one book left. So, you know, as long as I don't like attack my house in the next five minutes, I'm gonna be good. No, they're all staring at me now. That's great. This is just so awkward now. Like, I don't know what to do. It's like they don't know what is happening. I don't know what to do. I don't want to be rude and like shut the blinds, but at the same time, I just want to be like, go away. I'm pretty sure they think I'm talking to nobody and that I'm like crazy, but I just want them to like go away. I'm just gonna like do it. Do they not know that staring is rude and that you're supposed to ignore people when they're doing weird things like film themselves in front of a window on ground level? Last book that I read, which I'm super excited for, is Gemina. And this is by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. And I waited so long to read this because I really wanted the audiobook. And um, I finally was at my library so I could pick that up and read it. And I love this book. I like Illuminae a little bit more, but they're so close because I loved this book. So that's all the books that I have read during summer. Right now, I'm currently reading Shadow and Bone by Lainey Taylor and loving it, so there's probably going to be a book talk on that coming soon. But you know, we just have all these books. Look at it. I mean, it's not as much as I wanted to, but that's pretty good for being in a book slump for nearly the entirety of summer. Like, we're talking about almost all of summer. You gotta get like... Okay, that's a bit more. Ugh. Oh my god, someone's naughty. I know, I'm attracting weird people into my house. They just rang my doorbell. Hey, that is all the books that I've read and all the updates and I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and all of you guys who are going back to school, including myself, good luck with that and I hope you can have a positive year. I know that it's hard sometimes, but yes, I think that is everything and I just hope you have a fantastic weekend. Goodbye!